Hey guys, we're gonna uh, we're gonna program a fidget spinner game on Scratch. We're gonna see step by step. Uh, this will be a basic uh, fidget spinner. It's up to your imagination to improve it. So let's start. Uh, first, log into your Scratch account, and then create a new project. Name your project as Fidget Spinner. Fidget Spinner. And delete the sprite over here. Delete the sprite. And we need to get a Fidget Spinner. We're going to go to Google. And then we're going to search for Google Images Fidget Spinner. And make sure you search for PNG file. And go to images. Uh, let's pick this one. And see the background is transparent. That's because uh, we picked a PNG file. So make sure you search for PNG file type when you search for fidget spinner. And view the image. And then save the picture. We're going to save the picture, save it, and then go back to Scratch and click Paint a New Sprite and import the fidget spinner that you downloaded. And make sure one thing you need to make sure is it's placed right in the center so to make sure it's in the center you click this button and you place it to the center of your picture now it's centered and go to script now you can move it more in the middle here so the first thing first step we're gonna do we're gonna have the uh, fidget spinner turn and then we are going to uh, slow it down so let's start first when the green flag is clicked uh, point in direction 90 degrees make sure it's facing this way it's not turned and we're, we're going to have a variable. We're going to name it as spinner speed. So this is going to decide the speed of the spinner. So we're going to set the spinner speed to a random number. So let's start with something like, let's say 40, 40 to 60. After this, uh, we're going to start turning the fidget spinner. So go to control, do it forever, and then turn not 15 degrees, we're going to use spinner speed degrees. So this is going to make, right now, it's going to turn forever if we start. As you see, it turns forever. But it never stops. We, we need to have it stop after this. So let's do that. Events. When the green flag is clicked, we are going to uh, repeat turning until the speed comes down to zero. So until until the 
dinner speed is smaller than 0 0.1 I'm sorry 0 is smaller than 0 which means it stopped and we wanted to we want to make a wait time so wait 0 0.1 seconds and change the spinner speed by so at this point the uh, the smaller number you put in over here like 0 0.1 or 1 shows how uh, smooth the spinner turns and and the time that the time period that it stops is dependent on on this number so if you make it smaller number the time will be longer so I'm gonna make it 0 0.05 so that it'll spin very smoothly so let's first check let's check As you see, it's going up. Uh, that's because I put a positive number. It needs to go down, so I'm going to change it to negative number. So it's going down right now, but it takes very long time. It'll take very long. So I'm going to check it. I'm going to put a small number over here, pick random, 2 to 3. So this is just to check it. So it's going to slow down now. As you see, it's slowing down. But it's not going to stop. So we need to make it stop. We need to make it stop. To make it stop, we're going to use another program code. So when the green flag is clicked if the spinner speed is smaller than 0 we're gonna set it to 0 because right here it's negative number so we're gonna do that we're gonna go to control if the spinner speed is smaller than 0 if the spinner speed is smaller than 0 set the spinner speed to zero so that it's gonna set to zero and it's gonna stop but we need to make this in between forever loop all right so let's check it again slowing down and it stopped here we go, we're done. If you want to add a timer, all you have to do, make another variable, name it as timer to see how many seconds it, it takes. And then when the green flag is clicked, set the timer to zero. And then we're going to increase, change the time <clears throat> by one second, by one, and we're going to wait one second so that it's going to change each second one by one, but until, it's going to do that until the, time, the spinner speed is zero. So we're going to go again, repeat until spinner speed is zero. So repeat until spinner speed equals to zero. We're going to put the spinner speed on the left side equals to zero. And let's test. So it took six seconds. 
So let's change this spinner speed to a random number between 50 to 60. And then it's going to turn very fast and it'll take a long time. It'll take very long time. As you see, it's, it turns very fast. It's slowing down, but it slows down very slowly. All right, we're done. Thank you for watching.